Hello, my name is Hirani Jaitlika and I'm a committer and a PMC member for the Apache Synapse project. In this short presentation, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Synapse and I'm going to show you how to implement a particular integration pattern known as the API facade pattern using the features available in Synapse. Synapse is a lightweight enterprise service bus. You can visit synapse.apache.org to learn more about Synapse, download the binaries, and check out the source code. As an ESB, Synapse is used to connect and integrate heterogeneous applications, as shown in this diagram. Synapse provides a wide range of messaging and integration services. It can be used to route messages, filter out messages based on various conditions, transform messages from one format to another, and transform messages from one protocol to another. It also supports many other features including load balancing, failover routing, message throttling, and task scheduling. Synapse provides the user with an array of configurable message processing elements. The most primitive of these is the mediator component. It is the smallest configurable message processing unit in Synapse. Mediators take an input message, perform some predefined task on it, and produces an output message. Synapse ships with a large number of built-in mediators, each designed to handle a specific message processing requirement such as logging, transformation, or filtering. We can combine many mediators together to form sequences. Synapse sequences provide the abstraction of message flows. Multiple sequences can be combined to implement other high-level messaging constructs such as proxy services and APIs. These high-level components can be used to connect or integrate a given client application with some backend service. So how do we configure all these components in Synapse? Synapse provides a high-level metaprogramming language based on XML to define sequences, APIs, and other high-level message processing units. The language is very simple and provides a protocol and message format agnostic programming experience. Now let's talk a little bit about the API facade pattern. API facade is an integration pattern that enables exposing a non-restful system through a REST API. Using this pattern, we can expose a SOAP service, a database, or a legacy system as a RESTful web application. This pattern is particularly useful in the present times due to the overwhelming popularity of web apps and mobile apps. These client-side applications require their backend systems to be exposed as REST APIs and the API facade pattern can make it happen. Now I'm about to demonstrate how to use Synapse as a simple API facade between a SOAP service and a REST client. Let's get started by installing Synapse. When you download Synapse from the web, what you get is a simple tarball or a zip archive such as this one. To, to install Synapse, simply extract the downloaded archive to your local hard disk. The only prerequisite for running Synapse is an ins installation of JDK 1.6 or higher. So if you have JDK 1.6 or higher installed on your machine, then you already have everything needed to run or test Synapse. Apache Synapse ships with a large number of sample configurations and mock services that can be used to test and demo various scenarios. I'm going to use one of those mock services and, sample config and a sample configuration for this demonstration of an API facade. The mock service I'm going to use is called the simple stock code service. To deploy this service, head over to the samples access to server src simple stock code service directory and run ant to compile, package and deploy the service. Uh, when you see the build successful message, head over to the samples access to server directory and execute access to server.sh launch script to start the sample access to server. So this will start a simple uh, access to server instance with the simple stock code service uh, and it runs on HTTP port 9000. To make sure that the simple stock code service is up and running, uh, head over to your web browser and navigate to HTTP localhost 
colon 9000 slash services slash simple stock code surveys question mark WSDL. If the service is properly deployed, you should see the WSDL description uh, of the simple stock code service. With that in place, let's go back to Synapse. So as I said, we are going to use one of the existing sample configurations for this demo. So this configuration file is available at repository conf sample directory. The file is called synapse sample 800.xml. Feel free to open it uh, using any text editor and go through it. For this demonstration, I'm going to make a quick change, a simple change to one of the or rather the endpoints available in this configuration. As you can see, they, they point to our simple stock code service on port 9000. For this demonstration, I'm just going to change this to port 9090. I'm going to change this to the same port. And then I'm going to set up a simple uh, TCP mon window on port 9090, which forwards the messages to port 9000. So what I'm basically doing is setting up TCP mon to capture the traffic between Synapse and the simple stock code service. And I'm setting up another TCP mon window to listen on port 8080 and forward the traffic to port 8280, which is the port that Synapse or Synapse will listen on. So basically we can use this window to capture and monitor the traffic between our REST client and Synapse. All right, so to start Synapse with our modified configuration, simply head over to the bin folder of the Synapse installation and run synapse.sh-sample 800. Yeah, 800 is the number of our uh, sample configuration file. Now that we have Synapse up and running, open up another terminal and run curl which is which will act as our uh, restful client application. So I'm going to send a get request to port 8080 slash stock code slash view slash test. So you will see a response like this, but let's go to TCP mon and figure out what's exactly happening at that level. So this is the get request sent by curl to Synapse. So this is converted into the SOAP request shown here by, uh, by Apache Synapse. Uh, and then our simple stock code service sends back this SOAP response, which is converted into this plain old XML response by Synapse. So you can see the REST client never really see the actual SOAP requests and responses being exchanged by Synapse uh, and the backend service. Synapse simply abstracts out all that uh, SOAP behavior from the uh, REST client, thus providing a, a nice, clean, and simple API facade. All right, so that concludes my demonstration of Synapse and its API mediation capabilities. To learn more about Synapse and its advanced features, go to the official Synapse documentation. Uh, I also have a more comprehensive demonstration set up on GitHub and its, avail its documentation uh, is available on readthedocs.org. So feel free to check them out and thank you very much.